So these are um, some light traps that we've constructed. They're after a design made by Dr. David Jones when um, we worked at University of Miami and it's a modification of some light traps that existed. What we did was we took um, materials that you can get at hardware store um, or order them from you know, online and constructed these traps that can be taken apart, transported, put back together and that are very portable. And so what we've got is um, we've got the main chamber, body chamber here, and the entrances for the fish larvae are these juice cups that are fastened in three rows around the trap. The top has a framework in the bottom to keep, um, to keep it sturdy in the water. It hangs off of a buoy, and then the housing that houses all of the electronics and the light goes up here. So if we look at this one here that we've put together, this has the main body, and then the housing up here, is modeled after some cave diving lights and so it's an airtight um, container it holds the battery that we recharge every night and all of the electronics it's got a ballast inside and a timer and so the timer is from a deer feeder timer and so what you can do is you turn it on um, and it comes on at a certain hour so at dusk it'll come on it'll fish through the night and then the light will go off in the morning before dawn so that you're not wasting the battery um, it only fishes at night because that's when the larvae are coming in and that's when they can see the difference between the light that's on in the trap and the sunlight and so they're attracted to the light that's in the trap they come in and then they just kind of continue to go around the light and so they stay inside of the bucket. This part down here is another bucket that screws on and off and it is where the sample goes. So once you pull out the whole trap, there's a drain, uh, an air, air plug up here. The trap drains out and what you have on the bottom is a bucket like this one. And so that has just a screen inside so that we don't lose our larvae and the water drains out the bottom and your sample ends up in there. And so then we take that sample and preserve it in alcohol and we can do uh, taxonomic work on it or we can, um, if they're in alcohol, we can pull out the otoliths, the ear bones and tell age and microchemistry and different projects that are being done on, on the different species. So we hope to get um, samples, compare artificial and natural reefs, artificial reefs of different ages, uh, recruitment that comes at different times of the year and different months. And so now, all the fish are going to start attacking you immediately. I know. Watch the boat. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm not worried about the boat, I'm worried about the trap. What you want to do is... It's got a spill yep. water, I know. Yeah. You can make it right to... Um, You're in your BC? Yeah. Thousand You're mil. drowning? Yep. You're drowning? Yep. Straight shot. So we're out here now on Clearwater Reef and right now we've got our light trap located um, over a natural ledge called Mike's Ledge. Uh, the bottom is about 28 feet and our trap is suspended about 6 feet below the surface. Um, the larval fish will come in on the surface. We've tried putting them on the bottom and mainly we get recruitment from the bottom coming up. Um, and it's not really recruitment, it's just you know things moving up from the, from the bottom of the reef. So what we do is we put it below the surface where the fish are coming in to settle onto the reef and we intercept them on the way to the reef. Right now we've got a little bit of competition from the moon because it's at three quarters. So we like to put it out on a, on a new moon. That's when we get the most recruitment. But um, we're testing the traps. So we just came out now to, to put it out there. And we're already getting a lot of activity um, on the reef. Larger fish we see swimming around that are attracted to the light as well and also to the larvae that are approaching. And we've got a turtle that's been visiting the trap and kind of knocking the buoys around as well. So in a minute we're going to get in and, and go take a look to see what's, um, what's being attracted by the traps. It's pretty interesting.
así fuerte. It's 7 a.m. and we just collected our light trap sample and we've got some little fish larvae in there, mostly clupeids. Um, they're in the herring sardine family, and we've got some adults as well as the little transparent ones are all of the larvae. This is 70% alcohol. We're just preserving our larvae in there. That allows us to identify them later, and also if we want to use their ear bones for um, anything, any use, they're preserved in the alcohol. We don't put them in formalin because that dissolves the odorless. <laughs> 